show off with Indivisible Rochester, and we came to meet with Senator Schumer today as part of a statewide sit-in day with coordinated actions across New York State to uh, urge Senator Schumer to act as aggressively as possible on our behalf um, in the, in the, since the health care bill is in play. So we want him to withhold consent uh, from uh, business as usual on the Senate floor, and we are also asking him to filibuster by amendment. So today we came to him to present um, our personal stories about um, how we feel that uh, so-called Trump care is going to impact our, our families and our friends, and also to um, um, discuss larger issues around health care and um, the different populations and services that we impacted. Um, we heard from a pediatrician, um, we um, heard from a psychologist, me, we heard about families, we heard about people with mental health disorders, we heard about seniors, we heard about people who have chronic medical illnesses, people who um, uh, have really benefited from Obama here and um, we were terrified of what uh, Trump care might do for us. Um, we couldn't meet with Schumer today because he's down in Washington and uh, doing the same, hopefully on our behalf, on the Senate floor. But we did meet with his representative uh, here in Rochester, Chris Zeltman. Uh, Chris was extremely receptive um, to what we had to say. Um, it was a very emotional meeting. People shared uh, really from their hearts uh, about health concerns of their own families and also their love of the United States of America and the direction uh, that they see the Republicans taking us, um, how it's really going to impact the lives of um, our fellow citizens, young, old, rich, poor, especially poor and middle class, um, uh, chronically ill. Um, that um, So Chris was quite receptive. As I said, it was very emotional. We were impressed with how well-versed Chris was in the issues, um, and we presented him with a, a letter Rochester that he assured us he would present to Senator Schumer, um, uh, expressing our gratitude for what he's done so far and our hope that he will continue to the bitter end. Um, and uh, the only other thing I want to add is that uh, we asked Chris for some tactics. Uh, because we're feeling kind of helpless right now with a majority Republican uh, Congress, and he really emphasized repeatedly that uh, if you go to the Indivisible website, you find a list of 10 senators who are Republican who could provide three of the votes needed to defeat this health care bill. So if you have friends or families in the states of those senators, get in touch with them and have them heavily campaign those senators to vote no. And we ourselves can do the best we can uh, faxing them and blowing up their phones. Um, so, thank you.